Jacksonville's south side could soon get a facelift. But first, the Florida Department of Transportation wants to hear from you before widening parts of I-295. And Lena, the goal is to give drivers more space, especially during peak travel times. Good morning, Vic and Jen. FDOT is specifically looking at changes to the East Beltway to improve the flow of traffic. Before it can move forward, it does need to hear from the community. It's no secret that our region is growing uh, significantly. We're seeing that with not only census data, but every day we're getting hundreds of, and thousands of people coming to our state. To keep up with the growing population in Jacksonville South Side, the Florida Department of Transportation wants to add an additional lane on each side of 295 from JTB to the foot of the Dames Point Bridge at the South Side Connector, increasing lane capacity from four to six. A lot of the times we compare traffic to or congestion to like water going through a pipe. Um, in order to get more water through the pipe, you got to make the pipe a little bit bigger. And in this case, we will be adding capacity to the roadway, helping you know more vehicles go through um, during those peak hours. Other improvements could include adding new entrance and exit ramps at 295 and Merrill Road Interchange, improving traffic operations by adding auxiliary lanes between intersections, converting the 295 Town Center Parkway Interchange to a diverging diamond interchange, and constructing noise walls at qualify locations. Before moving forward on this new construction, FDOT is seeking the public's input. We really encourage that. We want the community to be engaged with us and help us make these decisions. Because at the end of the day, uh, it's locals, it's it's the people that live here like, like us um, that have to live with the decisions that are being made. And that's really what this meeting is all about. It's just about soliciting feedback from the community. The project is expected to start late next year and have a $265 million price tag. The meeting is Thursday night from 4.30 to 6.30 at University of Florida's University Center. You can find all of this information on our website at newsforjax.com. And while you're there, you can sign up to be an insider and leave a comment.